or somebody, you know, the Bible says, he that digs a pit will fall inside. The person that digs a pit, what is his point? Do you understand? Somebody that sells poison knows he's selling poison. What's his intent? To have market, Abby. Then the person goes to church on Sunday. Say, not me give him the poison. You know, now somebody give him. You are evil. Praise the Lord. So, right now, the world is caught in a bind. This cryptocurrency thing. They are caught in a bind. Somebody just, bloop. Um, So-called richest man was insulting the fellow the other day. They just vanished some people's money. The, the need for cryptocurrency is still there. Need as in the governments are not living up to their responsibility by using the tax appropriately. So a lot of people don't want to pay tax. And a lot of people are getting angry, particularly in developing society, that they are working, some people are reclining and sleeping, and they're giving them money to live. How does that work? You see, if you go against God's word, it causes anger in people because the Bible says, let him that does not work, let him not eat. But the people who think they know better than God say, okay, you that are working, bring part of your own, let us give them to eat. And not only will they eat, they, will, they are the ones that will tell you, you give me a, a flat that has two bedrooms. I have seven children, where will they stay? I need a mansion or five bedrooms that you didn't pay for. Then those that are working are living in one cubicle. And it happens in our own context. A man that is working, laboring, he has two children. His left hand and his right hand. The one that is not working, saying that God, they give Pekino, he has ten. They will be distributing the children, say, ah, take one now. Anything you want to use them, boy house, boy house, girl, anything, stock girl, just be sending me the money. They're not an evil person. But we accommodate them. We say, ah, what can we do now? Let's have human face. No, I have God face. I don't want human face. I want God face. Because God has said, let him that does not work, let him not eat. You bring children into the world, you can't feed them. They'll be wearing dress. How many of you know a color pant? <laughs> that pant does not tear. <laughs> Rainbow color. <laughs> the young people don't know a color pant. <laughs> yeah, it's called dress because it's rope. <laughs> Glory be to God. No, it's high time we tell people the truth. It is sheer wickedness to have children you can't take care of. It's really wickedness. Hallelujah. You know, slavery, God frowns at slavery. When the Jews go to war and they catch, they take people, he tells them, treat them well. How do you think God will look at somebody who gives birth to children to send them to slavery? Charity envied not. Charity vaunted not itself. Envy is very deadly. Very deadly. Where envy is, all kinds of evil happens. Let me, is there a normal person that will go? No, I was watching a video. This internet is crazy. In Anambra, there was this medicine man. So two young boys went to meet the medicine man. They said they want to do money, medicine money. Money medicine, I better call it. Money ritual. So... The man asks them, who are you bringing? He said, Papa. 
He said, who else? He said, friend. You know what in the mercy man do? He beat him. <laughs> he said, yeah, come on. Let's, let's. Say, useless fellow. He beat him. Say, you. you. Want to use somebody to make money? That's somebody's child. Wants to use the parent to make money. What kind of a heart is that? It was sister confidence that what something that happened to her mother somewhere in the east where they, they went to help, they went to they went for a catering job. Only to find that it's human beings that are supposed to be cooking. No, they were supposed to be cooking, then they then cooked. The bodies they met finished. The meat was not enough. They then selected one of them that went to join the meat. It sounds strange to you. That God, when he made the earth, made man to eat herbs first. Then later says, okay, you can eat meat. They don't just eat meat. They eat human beings. What kind of a human person is that? But you are having the man who, he hammer, he they drive home out because he hammer. They drive Homer. Say, I want to get stretch Homer. Can you do what stretch Homer does? I've learned in whatever state, there we to be content. Praise the Lord. Contentment has nothing to do with being satisfied at your level. It just means you are cool where you are, but you want to move forward. Okay? If you have a billion, there's two billion to be had. It doesn't mean say, ah, I have arrived. Because anybody that has arrived, God will call him home. Abi, always striving to improve, to show forth the power and the glory of God. Okay? Vaunted not the self. Puffed up. We are the people. It's us that hold the church together. Everybody sees you. They say, ah, this person is really committed. I really loves God. You are a whitewashed sepulcher. Filled with dead men's bones. You have no leak of God inside of you. Your reward is what they are seeing complete. Nothing else is for you. If there was a man to be proud, it was Jesus. The Bible says, yet he humbled himself. You can imagine John, the beloved of the Lord, if he went about with his head in the clouds. Or Peter. Tell the other disciples, be careful, Lord. you know, say we'll not be mates. We'll be apostles, we're apostles, but we're the first order. Be careful. Uh -huh. Does Jesus talk to you? Did Jesus visit your mother-in-law? Did he tell you feed this his sheep? Level not be level low. There are some and there are some. There's inner sanctum, inner sanctum. It's those that are inner sanctum that they go help us. <laughs> There's inner sanctum, inner sanctum. So we'll not be level though. They call all of us pastor. Pastor not be level though. What do you have that you were not given? Who are you? Who are you? What is inside of you that you were not given? What did you come with? Okay, when you were born from your mother's womb, you were wearing a uh, Rolex wristwatch. Abby? Percadin shirt. When you were born. If that's, how, if that's how you came, your mother will have abandoned you. Who say this one come from the devil? Because the ones that come from God, they come naked. <laughs> you know, there are sometimes they write, ah, this child came out from the from the mother's stomach with a Quran or with a Bible. That one a devil. No? <laughs> 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 
Say, come out. Be careful of such people. On Wednesday, we, Wednesday we, we said, those that behave unseemly in our midst, what do we do to them? We separate them. And don't, not to eat with them. So that they will not think it is good to behave like that. Hallelujah. You know, I like observing people. There's this guy that I know. He was a playboy when he was much younger. Now he has come. He believes he's a believer. But he still has some bad habits. He still like touching females. We just... Um, it's how it was programmed. He would just touch them familiarly. I said, this fellow one day, he would touch and we enter trouble. Because touching can lead you to hell. You're supposed to don't cut in hand by now if you're not getting hand again. Because the Bible says, <laughs> you, know, you know, a lot of people will have been blind by now. I'm not sure I will have eyes if I, when I was much younger, the look, oh, Jesus said, pluck it. <laughs> block it. Most men will be blind. <laughs> I don't know about women. Women, do you people look too? You look also? What do you look? All those are like, like puff puff. Now you they look. <laughs> what do women look? Do women look too? Okay, which man here that has not looked? I don't mean just look. You just look to lust. Say, ah! Mm. Put up your hand. Anyone without sin, cast the first stone. Put up your hand. So you are not junior Jesus. Eh? Eh? So don't behave like you are junior Jesus. <laughs> you know, some people will do, they will do as if, no. They don't even, if they want to even fat self, okay, that's big or you grammar. They want to mess. Eh? They will even pray self before they will mess. No, some people, are, the way you look, then they are like that. I see they need a mess. Lie you. When they go one corner, and like, crack, bro, crack, crack. Then they do. Those kind. <laughs> and if you have the misfortune of being there, you can faint. <laughs> Hallelujah. See, I don't know why we're embarrassed. It's a bodily function. And you know if you hold it in, it's not good for you. <laughs> Just give people prior warning. Brah! Prior warning. <laughs> if you're in a confined space, excuse yourself. For example, will faint. <laughs> the things that, you see, the things that make us human, we're trying to do as if, no, this one is not there. Gas must come out from you. See, it's those, see, eh, God know how to humble you. One day I was going to church. And you know those kind of stomach that will run you, that you know that know how you can't get to where you are going to. You must do the do. And you begin to sweat. Very urgent sweat. <laughs> and this was a bad place. From Ikeja, we we're just about to turn into Oregon Road. I tell the driver, stop. Stop. He said, you don't, I said, I don't. Shh. And I came down. Any bush. You know, there's this um, water course around that place. That covered. I dive inside. I entered. Whether the water was clean, I didn't have time. When you finish, you begin to look. <laughs> you know, it humbles you. You know that you are a human being. You know, they carry your body as if you need a, you need a mess. Come on, go, go there. That thing never catch you before. I was going to Lagos from Worry. We had a program, ministry program. Just before we get to Bini, that long stretch. Now I tell the driver, I say, stop. He said, I say, stop. Handkerchief that we need to clean face. I carry handkerchief. <laughs> Bush. I was the only one sitting in front. They waited. You know, when you come back, you're like, ah. 
and they'll be telling you, do. <laughs> you know, I have had incidents. One time we went to do evangelism. We were having a program. I was the one charged with, in Lagos, I was the one charged with getting sound system. The program was in Korodu. So I went to Ketu to look for a sound system. I was just walking the street where they directed me to. Suddenly, the thing came. Ah! I said, this is die. Church is far. I was walking like this. I just sight one house. Children were playing. I just touched. I said, get water. <laughs> As if I owned the place. And the old rush got water, brought everything. I just went to the finish and I came out like landlord. Uh-huh. <laughs> I strolled away. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, those things they humble you. All this nonsense you are doing. Oh, you are speaking tongues to hold it now. Oh, you think I didn't speak in tongues? <laughs> After a while, it didn't work. <laughs> then you humble. When you come out, you'll be humble looking at nobody. Nobody they see you, they don't get your time. They don't have your time. You think, you think the whole world revolves around you. They don't have your time. They are going about their business. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Get off your high horse. There is nothing new under this song. Eh? Nothing new. So you deceive yourself there. So yeah. And the spirit. Okay. Remain there. Hallelujah. Seek it not his own. It's not easily provoked. Think it no evil. Rejoice it not in iniquity. Hmm. Iniquity. Iniquitous. Those that recruit people to do sin. There's a special judgment for them. You can't recruit people to do sin. Anybody that is a madam, eh, those that recruit girls, and any boy that is a guy that is a facilitator. When we are in university, there are some people, if you know, they had this army cantonment, when the soldiers are doing party, the boys you meet, they will get girls. That is evil. It's evil. It's evil. And then they will give the girls drink. The girls wanting to show that they are they've arrived. They will drink and they won't have sense again. If Papa sent you to school, you go and bring diploma. Most of you don't know what that means. They sent you to school to get certificate. You went to bring a baby. That's that's terrible. It's terrible. Look your children bang in the eye. You know, and be honest. Don't say, ah, you know, we serve the Lord. We don't do all these things you are doing. You were worse than them. If my children at their age, if they did what I was doing at 15, I would collapse. I will have that at that I will, I will, I will, in fact, I will say, God, take me. They've not even drank alcohol. By then, I'd even retired. I'd retired. You know, a retired alcoholic. That's 2021. I'd retired. By then, thank God I'd met Jesus Christ. Then you born again, born again. You say it's not just, uh, uh, how they call that one that is like milk? Eh? Bellies. Say it's just bellies. Go and look at it. It has more alcohol. Than beer. So it's just, it's not much. You see, that means you are a real drunkard. It's not much. Take a little wine for your stomach's sake. Tea rush. Go and read your Bible. Go and read your Bible. See how it's in the Bible now. Martinelli is wine, no? He said, no, now that's for small children. See, that's your problem. Anyhow, rejoice it not in iniquity, but rejoice it what? 
Rejoice it in the truth. Bear it all things. I can't take it again. This woman must leave my house. I wish Nigeria would become like some other countries where when a man and a woman quarrel, I demand they leave. Many things will change. You know, if you're in the US and you and your wife, they fight, and you come back from work and you see a bag by the door, you know you have been evicted from the house. <laughs> you just carry the bag and begin to go and be grumbling. Because if you say you want to stay, she call the police. The police will say, please leave. But Nigeria will say, come on, get out of my house. Well, the Bible says a wise woman builded a house. I don't know which house man gets. Praise the Lord. It's the woman's house. The man lives there. Praise God. Hello? Karen's shoulder. Bear at all things. Bear at all things. He's able to, he's able to cover faults that, you know, the Bible says if you ask, if your brother sin and you ask, the sin that is not unto death, you are saving him. You are not comfortable with their error, but yet you don't throw them away. You still seek their good. You go after that person. Hallelujah. And that's important. That's important. And it's so important that no matter how close you are with this person, no, no. And no, I tell you this all the time. If you see me in a corner pressing a sister that is not Pastor Faith, and you just say, ah, Pastor, good evening, no, and you walk by, I just mark you in my register, wicked person. Because I'm going to hell and you are not dragging me out. Say, ah, pa Pastor. <laughs> We thought there was on that spiritual level that you are operating on. Which spiritual level? Higher grace, God. Higher disgrace, me. You better deliver me. Help your brother. Now, don't go and be saying you are a spiritual juggernaut. You sit down with a sister alone in your car for three hours. Very soon, you are touching each other's lap. Very soon you are driving to a dark corner. Run for your life. Come out from the car and be running as if fire day. Because you are on your way to hell. Fornicators and adulterers go to hell. That's what the Bible says. Those who keep malice, they are going to hell. That's what the Bible says. Those who slander people, they are going to hell. Hello? To slander somebody, you know, malevolence is to have an evil intention. When you slander, slander somebody, what are you doing? You are recruiting everybody to hate this person. To look at this person less than they are. Are you not evil? Or you must carry nine first to keep person. The person that is dead, judgment has come. Abby, the person that is still alive is the one that is capable of feeling pain on this earth. But you are killing somebody every day. People look at you, useless man. Because of your words, you are evil. A Christian that tells tales is most reprehensible. You don't hear, mm, now wow, mm, now wow. We've done the church since so how many years? They not give us anything. Somebody just come, they just make a leader. Okay, oh, mm. maybe the person they drop. You never know what they do. We never know. Yes, they do something. Go do what they do now. I remember somebody one time said, "We know what to do to become the kings now. We know how to play the game." When I heard, I said, "What?" That's evil. Game? No. But hindsight now, no wonder the person turned out the way they turned out later. Because he never had a chance to repent. Because, yeah, God, God his word is true. I remember now. The person ended up being a crook. Stole government money. 
Hello? You people, let me tell you, somebody said to me, the things you fight the most, that is what you are. And I don't fight anything, thank God. Some people that, haven't you seen those now who have been doing, how they call them now, human rights, how they call those people? Activists. They are the ones now that are the biggest crook. It means they didn't have opportunity to chop before. When you call them to come chop, they show their real character. If pray that the day you are tempted, huh? like your day house, the day you are tempted, hello, that you are at home, like your spirit is at home, pray. Are you listening to me? Because <laughs> there you are, then drop one bag of dollars, five million. Say, take him, more is coming, just do this. Say, let me just do, I give tithes, I will change. You don't enter. When the fish, thinking it is sharp, goes to eat the worm, it doesn't know that the worm, there's hook inside. And he's able to just bite and leave. He will bite the hook too and try to swallow it. What happens? It will be eaten by itself. That he wanted to eat one small thing, you know, now they will eat it itself. You think the devil, when he's giving you something, doesn't want to do you something? Huh? Continue. No, continue. Continue. That have the opportunity to steal and they steal. And those that encourage them to steal, they are the same thing. If your friend steals, your friend is evil, and you don't say anything, you are complicit in their evil. Hello? One day, I was talking to, I not sure if trouble today, I was talking to somebody who was in one of these charitable clubs, not Lion, one of the other ones that starts with R. And they always carry, they have been targeting me, they want to give me a word, they say, you do, I say, leave me alone. I'm in church, I do all of what I want to do in church. They talk, talk, mm, I say, I know they do. So I asked the question, because they were going for the province or whatever conference. I said, now you are changing leaders. So how is the process? Because the person was saying they were going to open a new bank account. I said, but you have a bank account. Why are you opening a new one? He said, no, the former leader operated that one. They want to operate their one. I said, but what did they transfer? I said, they don't even bother to get account. I said, what is the difference between you people are road transport workers union? No difference, no accountability. Say, nine generate the money, so nine go spend on my own. Nonsense. Meanwhile, you come to church and you'll be putting eye. You are a crook. Yes, that's what they do. Quote me. You are a crook. You can tell pastor, eh, the pastor should be accountable. Accountable to who? To you. God says you should chop your tithes and your offering. Listen. Watch me. Oh, you, oh. The tithe and the offering is food for the pastor and those that work in church. And if there be anyone that is a widow outside that the church want to help, we can help them from there. But it's I want to chop. Oh, my church will be paying you. This is what the Bible says. And we must keep to the Bible. You didn't write it. God that wrote it, wrote it for our benefit. Paul said, does God care about the oxen? That he said, let the oxen that treads the corn, let it also eat of it. He said, did not write it for us that we should eat of the things that you have been given by God by our work. And he made it very clear. He says, hey, priest, when they bring, take this part, it's your own. <laughs> so I will take the part, I will take the other part. He said, but take this one that they wave, that heap, when they wave and finish, summer the thing for your house. Yes, if he pain you, go and be God. Be God. God gave it to us to chop. No apologies. What? You say, ah, pastors are chopping tithes and offerings. Is it your own? Oh? God designated for us to eat. 
And like Paul, I make my boast. I know they even the chopper. I don't eat it. Because I know it's iniquities of people. <laughs> Imagine the offering that Anna gave. That offering a Pekino. And those stupid boys went to chop it anyhow. Huh? The sons of Eli, they went to eat it anyhow. They didn't know that the one that will overthrow them from their father's work has come. We'll be chopping your offering as if we leave it there. Say, Lord, this is an accosting. We use it for the work. Close one eye. Some people get disease. Very disease when they not get name. Doctors don't know to cure it. They drop an offering. Say, Lord, receive it for your people. Say, uh-huh. Go and buy drum with this money. Because you chop it now, you God knows what will happen to you. Some offerings are not to be chopped too. Uh-huh. You want to chop trouble into your heart. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Oh, you don't know that. There are some things God designated to be burnt. See, burn them. And since we can't burn money now, we buy something and implement for God's house. Oh yeah, do this. Try you to buy shirt. Buy shirt. I can't get crocro. Well, you know, know where they come from. Nah, 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 nah. Don't work. But when you buy that thing, you put it in the on the altar. It will be speaking in tongues. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you have a wicked heart here, and you always say. Pastors just talk money, just for our to collect our money. Your heart is evil. Repent. Hello? Repent. And if you are here, say, I church, not even the help person. Repent. Repent, eh? What is help? What does help mean? It means me wanting to give you. Is it by force? Is it by force? Your own help, not by force. Only. Help God, help me. I choose if I want to help. Even God self will not take it from me. God will not take it from me. The blessings of the Lord, what does he do? I has no sorrow. Abby, he gave it to me. As I use it, is it your business? I'm, why am I even talking that? Let me continue my love, Joe. Some of you, your eye, your eye, you need to, you need to buy eyes out. So you can see well, because you don't see. You are seeing only faults of people. Praise does not come out from your mouth. Well, everything you say is complain. You should repent. You are, uh, the Bible says, bitter water and sweet water does not come from the same fountain. You are full of bitter water. You are mara. Mm. You need to wash you by the washing of the word. You need to be born again. If everything inside of you is bitter, you need to be born again. You are not born again. Hello? What did I say? You are not born again. Otherwise, where did you get all those things from the devil from? Because that is of the devil. He said, you are clean. By the words I have spoken unto you, has washed you, yet you are dirty. Hopes all things, endured all things, verse 8. Charity never what? Fails. But whether there be prophecy, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Because we will know all things then. For we know in parts. I will prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, even Jesus, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I speak like a child, as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away what? Childish things. For now, we see through a glass, darkly, but then face to face. Now I know 
in parts. But then I will know even as I am known. Hallelujah. Now abided what? Faith, hope, and charity. These three. But the greatest of these is what? Agape. Charity. Benevolence. It is the greatest. It is the best. Your faith will cease. It is the best. You know, when you get to heaven, will you have faith? Will you have faith? Will you have hope? Will you have love? Will you have love? If you don't have love, you, you won't go enter there. Because you must continue to love God. But you don't need to have faith. Faith that you see what you need it for. Jesus is there. What are you hoping for? We have already entered. But love will continue. So you need to build love now. You need to perfect love. You need to be, not be don't go and get small love. Because if you reach there now, you say, Lord, I don't like what you gave me. I want to go and meet devil. <laughs> you know, some people, they like being rebellious. Hallelujah. They like it. But by then, every rebellion we put down. No opportunity to rebel again. Praise God. So, we said be patient. Abby? Even when others are rude. Then somebody is rude to you. Don't be, don't be rude back. Doesn't make sense. Give like Jesus. Okay? Give like Jesus. Jesus said, Okay, why did you follow me? You didn't follow me for my words. It's because of the bread I gave you. <laughs> but he still gave them bread. Because every opportunity to minister, even if the person is coming with a wrong um, motive, minister. Because you don't know the one that will stick. Okay? So give and give sacrificially. Stop. You know, let me ask you, when you get into a field and that field is dense with crops, do you plant a seed? Do you plant a seed there? When you get to a field and the field is sparse, hardly anything growing, which of them do you think will be being, that you actively plant? The one full or the one empty? Huh? Which one has the potential to produce more? How come those who need most give the least? How? Why? Those that need most, they give the least. And yet, they want more. But whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall reap. You that need plenty, you will not sow. You don't want to sow. You say, I don't have. You have. Because it is God that gives bread to the eater and seed to the sower. But your own, you will eat your bread, you will eat your seed. Then you come to meet somebody to say, divide your seed with me. If I ask you now, how many of you have ever said, okay, give to a charity organization, not even say, give somebody. You know, I asked, some, I asked one time, I said, how many of you have given 10,000 before? Precious few. You have not looked at someone and said, this person has a need. I'm giving 10,000. Are you okay? How can you not do that? 10,000? You won't buy good ice cream anymore. And you have not given it to somebody in need? What is wrong with you? You are thinking one day when I'm rich. How will you become rich? Except you do money ritual. Or you enter Nigerian politics. Or you enter your bunkering. Look, even those ones have, go and check. Those people, they also give up. Because it's a law. Seed time and harvest will not cease as long as the earth remains. You don't give. You don't give. You don't give. 
be there. You will give until the point that it is paining you. The money you want to use to buy that new shoe. Somebody has a need. You give part of the money. You can't buy that shoe again. That is called opportunity cost, Abby, in economics. You use for something. You have two competing needs. All the time, giving should be more important to you than spending for what you don't require for life. Hello? What did I say? If what you want to spend that money on will not sustain your life or you will not die, give. Hello? And if you don't eat for three days, you won't die. Don't say, ah, pastor, I can't cope. You will cope. Give it. Say, pastor, my eye is turning me. You, you are fasting so that your eye should turn you. If you are fasting and your eye has not turned you, you are not fasting. You are just starving. When your eye turns you, you will turn the eye back. Abby? Have you fasted before you are walking and breeze carry you go one canal? You, ah, you rearrange yourself. <laughs> the breeze just blow, your step just shake. You rearrange yourself again. If you have not fasted like you have not started. When you fast and fast, if you sleep like up, facing up, you know you are in trouble. Your stomach will be gum in the back. So you face like this. So that the hunger will not be reporting. We will soon fast, sure you know. End of this month, now we are fasting. Seven days, poor, no chop. If I catch you, everybody, you will not die. The grace is sufficient. You will not die. Everybody, you will fast. You will see Jesus. You will be in a trance, trance caused by hunger. It is good. All of them, Jesus can use. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you should give. Give unto the Lord your food. Okay? Hallelujah. Most importantly, always elevate. The love that God gives elevates. Hello? We wear what? In the Mary clay. Abby, what did he do? He set our feet on the rock to stay. We were commoners. He made us a kingdom of priests. Do you understand? God elevates, so you must elevate. You must lift up. See, you can't have agape, and all you do is put people down. You don't have agape. Agape is denoted by elevating people. Do you understand? If you don't elevate, you don't have agape. Glory be to God. Very important. Huh? Very, very important. Um, what do I want to say? Ah. First Peter 4 verse 8. Above all things, have what? No, no, did he say have charity? What does fervent mean? Should be hot. Huh? Should be hot, should be zealous. It is like a madman. Love like a madman. Do you understand? Love like a madman. When people say, I don't do, no. When they tell you don't do, that's where you start from. He said, for what? Charity does what? Covers a multitude of sin. When you love, you see the best in people. You are like Michelangelo. You see the angel in the rock. You don't put people down. Say blockhead. Any parent here that still calls their children blockhead, or even their help, may Lord deliver you. Because... You need, to, you need to be whipped with cane. You are a bad parent. 
After all, the child is blockhead. Part of the block came from you. Your DNA is in the child. So you are the... In fact, if your husband is blockhead and you are blockhead, your child is blockhead raised to the power two. <laughs> Double blockhead. So who are you blaming? They should blame you first for being a blockhead. Hallelujah. Church is speaking not even no book. You know book. You know book. If you know book, you're picking go no book. If you not know book, you're picking no if you not see if you not know book and you bomb picking, go look for teacher. And every day they pray, oh God. You know I didn't know you before now. Nah, 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 you don't too old. But you know what? No matter how old you are, God can open your mind. If you can't read, eh? You can read. Talk to God. He will open your mind. You will understand. If you don't know how to speak good English, talk to God. He will help you. Your sentences will flow from the Spirit. Because the Spirit knows all things. Do you understand? So we have help. Don't transfer your nonsense to your child. See, I told the children, I said, look at, see, you are better than your parents. And it's true. How many of you here, your parents were born again? How many? Yeah, yours were born again, so you are one of the few. My partner, they go to church before. When they get better, they're born again. They get better, you born again. You met them as Christian. No, but when they gave birth to you. See, let me tell you why I'm saying that. When two Christians have a child, it is called a godly seed. A godly seed. That one was manufactured by godly people. It's a godly seed. I became godly. I wasn't a godly seed. My parents, you know, my mama go go church once or twice. It was my grandmother that used to take us to church until we grew up and revolted. Why did I revolt, sir? The, the catechist failed me because I was plucking a belebo. <laughs> when we should be learning our catechism, I was plucking a belebo. You know what you call a belebo? Almond. <laughs> Fruit. <laughs> In a Kenwa campus. <laughs> we go and pluck. The catechist will come with day up there. <laughs> So he failed me. I said, I better carry on, go, but labor continue. I wasn't born again. But my kids, we had our children where we were already pastors. Do you understand? They, have, they, say, they are godly seed seed. Uh -huh. Whatever they do, they can't go anywhere. They are marked. So they are, God's eyes are upon them. These ones are a generation that we were born in fact, from the day that they were born, they began to hear God's voice. So if you must lead them to Christ, don't go and be telling them blockhead. Now you blockhead. Nonsense. Let them see visions. They will tell you, daddy, don't go out today. Stay. Call your boss. You are not coming. Hallelujah. Why? The spirit of God talks to them. Encourage them. Yeah? Pray. Pray. Don't pray like this. Pray. Close your eyes. Talk to God. What children praise God? You will be envious. Because it's so it's so heartfelt. They just ah, you be, because you know your own now. You are thinking a thousand and one things. They are just saying, Lord, I love you. Because their vocabulary and their image, imagery is small. So make sure. Make sure. Make sure. Praise the Lord. Think the best. Look at the best for people. Don't look people common. Don't look them common. No matter how not very visually pleasing the person looks, or whether how the rombustious the person looks, doesn't change anything. Jesus died for that word. Oh. Say, ah, no, this is not up to my speck. Oh. I know my speck. I know who I am now. Who you be? Who you be? It's liquid content we are looking for. 
You are not looking for the bottle. You are just bottle, no liquid content. It is not the make of the computer that is important. It is what is running it. If you get Core 9, i9, and you are running Windows uh, 95, it will still be making cru -cru 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 -cru. It won't have fire. Your software is outdated, though. Uh, be there. Oh. Just carrying liquid. See, we want liquid condor. You're just carrying body. You're just angry. Figure eight. Now, figure eight, I go chop. You born two children. Now, you become figure I. <laughs> I asked one lady. She said, ah, she just gave birth. Not quite six weeks. I said, do you do exercise? I said, yes. I said, mm. Yes, six weeks and she's already doing exercise. She won't know she's delivered. She's looking very trim. I said, well, keep it up. I said, I, I hope you can. Because you suddenly realize there are more things better than keeping shape. Shape is good though, but health is better. Uh -huh. So you want to look like sequel, sequel, figure eight. Continue. That is all you have for your husband. Only figure eight. Nothing inside. Your own is the latest. <laughs> you know why, why I laughed? <laughs> Somebody said, those women that wear false nails, that is very long, how did they do certain things? <laughs> how did they do it? <laughs> no, how? Let me tell you what the person actually said. Say, how did they clean their bum bum? <laughs> no, how? That you won't pinch yourself. Because the nails are long. Me, as I did so, my nails are now too long. If I know I don't pinch myself, how do you manage? Pray tell. Practice. Okay. Maybe I will learn it. My wife does not do, so I, I can't learn from her. She doesn't keep long nails. So, Glory be to God. Don't be like that Chinese bride, though. After a wedding night. The next morning, the husband was looking for her. <laughs> Eyelashes, false. Hair, false. Teeth, false. Butters, false. Breast, false. So the man ran away. <laughs> Said somebody's inside our room. <laughs> That's how some people, their lives are. You see a brother in church, you think you have married the best guy. When you reach house, he's a tiger. You know a lion, a tiger. He wants to kill you. This is my house. When I talk, you keep quiet. Now you're picking. So when I talk, you don't talk. I got paid far from you. Jesus left heaven. The Bible says he's not counted robbery, equality with God. But emptied himself. You, you. Did you take first class in university? Were you the highest in your class? Did you discover anything? Have you discovered penicillin? What have you done in your life? No, what have you done? What did you discover? Are you the maker of Tesla? Are you the owner of Mercedes Benz? Who are you? When I'm talking, you don't talk. Who you be? Who? Tell me who. Tell me your husband when I talk and so not be be first. The pastor, you they talk to men, then yes, men are problem. If Adam I told Eve, if eh, eh, eh not talk to this one. No. We go there we are with it. You know, Liverpool blame Eve. But not Adam fault too. He kept quiet. He was the one that was told. He kept quiet. There's this movie. Um, I can't remember the title. It's about how people think they can get into trouble and come out. So this woman was seen, they went on holiday with their husband. So she was seen by a millionaire. And the millionaire said, one night, let me sleep with you and I will give you a million. So she and the husband went to discuss it. They say, ah, it's just one night now, eh? just one night. 
is one of marriage take over. Who should have slapped the man? The husband should have slapped. Say, be careful. Lo. What do you mean? Your money perish with you. Say, when we get the money, our life will change. You see that. Then he began to blame the woman. Say, but we agreed you won't love her. I not go love her. You bring money. You not bring money. You know, like women say, money they enable love. Abby? Abby women are lying. Your love not reach Awama. Your love not go Dubai. That's no village, Christmas. People they go to Dubai for, for Christmas. So. Your love not only village to go eat pounded yam. Love they enable money, they enable love. Are they lying? Sisters, am I lying? Am I lying? Speak the truth now. Let the devil be ashamed. Uh-uh. You say, Ben is not better. Is it not better than Kia? When you enter Ben's, I'm not joking. When you enter Ben's, the motor sit down for ground. Anything there is balance. Look, oh, money can kill better soup. Oh. If you don't have money, Will you have chicken? Bama? Shaki? Roundabout? Plus nail? And gizzard inside one soup? You say, ah, you belong throat. You go die now. Now money kill him. You will put crayfish. Am I lying? You will not use Maggi. You will do your own seasoning. Maggi is for people who they not get money. You will put all the things. When you smell the food, you go belly food. Have you noticed people who soup does not have anything? They need to be left when they cook. But when you don't cook better food, you say, I can't even chop. I'm full. Because you don't they smell them. The smell don't feel you. But when nothing there is, you are waiting. Take this food, I will demolish you. <laughs> As if you not quarry. Money, they enable you. Are they lie? Why do you think women spend money to cook so that they are, they say, the way to a man's heart is true, yeah? They, they give up, they pump you with food so that you can love them. Meanwhile, you they go hide. They chop chicken, everything for outside. When you come out, you say now lake mama. That's when they work for you. Drop all the money for house. Some men, you think they are broke. Check out when they go eat outside. Check them out. Hallelujah. But women that eat out, I don't know about them more. You eat out regularly as a, as a rule. You won't keep a good house. Mm. You won't keep a good house. Pastor Faye does not allow me to eat outside. When I want to eat outside, I have to call her. Say, I'm not going to chop for a house. So say, wake up, where are you eating? Say, bring the food to the house. So I don't even bother eating. I just bring it. Say, this is the thing. And she said, okay, leave it there. Hallelujah. Some of you, when you go out, ah! It's as if freedom. You will chop a bar, chop rice, chop apple, chop beans. Only you. Then you have world war in your stomach. Anybody there near you, you better take gas mask. Because there's fighting. Europe fighting America. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But love is sweet. Because when I get home, I'm going to play love. My wife is there. I will play love. I will totori her small. Totori her small. If she totori me, nothing is happening. At least that one need to work for my body. <laughs> but I know what sometimes when she wants to ask me something, she will go and cook food she know I like. She say, I come home early, I cook something. I say, what, what, what again? Because she has my mumu button. How many of you men here, your wife have your mumu button? Let me see your hand. You don't get mumu button. Ah, you need to repent. If you don't have mumu button, you must repent. You don't get, you don't get mumu button. Jesu. That means you are hard work. <laughs> Very hard work. 
Bros, you have mumu button. You don't know. You get. You don't already discover her. Press and well, oh. be like ATM. Just press and boom, boom. You know I mean? Money will just be pouring. So, one sisters, press that move button very well. Once you press it, it will deliver. It's like when somebody rub your hair. You just be thinking, say, what do you want? You'll be like, you'll be like a herald. Tell me, what do you want? I give you to the half of my throne. Press the move button very well. <laughs> Things don't change. <laughs> you never change. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't know what you do for fun, no. Because if your wife does not know your mumu button, you had past Rocco. Ah. Even Jesus go hard to persuade you. Because uh-huh. unpersuadableness is following you. So you must have mumu button. Sister, she I get mumu button. When she's pressing it, I know. You know, say the mumu said we can't know. <laughs> you say, hey, don't arrange me again. <laughs> ah. You know, initially you'll be doing hard man. But when you just set your mumu button, you just, you just, you just fall. You just submit yourself. Uh, because you know you will fall anyway. <laughs> so just fall quick. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. May you enjoy your life. May the many-sided nature of God be manifested in your life. May you see God in dimensions that will astound you. May nothing be difficult for you. The love wherewith God has loved you made manifest. People from far and near, they'll be thinking of your good. When they are asleep, thoughts will come to them how to bless you. In this life, you will be a light and you will shine. The love of God will be manifested through you. People will be drawn to God because of you. Because of the things you do. Your love will not slack. It will be fervent. It will burn. It will bring many to Christ. The Lord help you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. Surround you with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Anything that seeks to destroy you, may they be burnt up. May God be your rare reward. When your name is called, may he answer. May you show up on your behalf. When good is being planned, may your name come to mind. Yes, may your name be brought up. May God remind them that are locating to people for the things that they have done. May he bring your name to their mind. May your good not be cast aside forever. May be brought out at the right time. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you. In the field and in the city. May everything technological that men have brought to make life easy on earth. May you not lack them. May you not lack the landmarks. The ancient landmarks that the elders set. May you not throw them aside. May you build your life strong on the word of God. Father, thank you. Thank you. I ask for a miracle for every one person here present this week. Let your power show forth for them. Yes. Let your power show forth for them. Yes. Keep them in the way they go. Let not the evil one overcome them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Hallelujah.